you so much for watching this Angelic TV where we talk about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean like. We are on episode 13 of my crazy roommate series. And before I get into the video, first of all, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Because girl, let me tell you, it is hard. It's hard as fuck. Do you understand that it took me mm, approximately four hours to prepare for this video because I was trying to get my kids together. It's 1.30 a.m. and I'm just not recording this video. Like, girl, I'm tired. I have work all week. One of these days, I think I want to be a daddy. Like, I'm okay with being a daddy. Like, I, I want to test out the whole daddy shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what that's about. <laughs> but y'all already know the routine. If you're new here, hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean all of my tea and all of everybody else's tea that be around me. If this is your first time watching me, I am doing the whole series. So don't be afraid to hit pause on this video and catch up to my other 12 story times. Because now we at number 13. So don't be afraid to do that girl because I'm, I promise you this video is going to be right here waiting for you whenever you're done getting caught up. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you won't miss my next upload. Also hit that thumbs up button. That way your girl can get out here in these YouTube streets. And don't forget to turn your post notifications on. That way you could be in the loop when the next time your girl posts. And one more thing before we get into this video. Don't forget if you have a crazy juicy story that you want to share anonymously or like some crazy ass situation that y'all going through and you want some advice on anonymously as well don't forget to email me at it's miss angelique tv at gmail.com um like i said we're doing some new stuff so for the summertime we we getting into some new things okay and so that is going to be one of the new series that i'm going to be doing i'm going to bring that back i used to do it years ago so now i want to bring that back so after you finish watching this video email me but i promise you nobody gonna know who you are so if you have a story to tell go ahead and send an email girl okay y'all so last story time we left off i was telling y'all how katrina child got a whole car tow trying to get some dick on valentine's day then left the baby at the house by herself. Well, she wasn't at the house by herself, but damn near she was. She might as well have been at the house by herself because she didn't tell me that she was upstairs. She didn't tell me that she was even gone. The only reason why I knew all of this information is because I was simply checking her location. So yeah, girl, she didn't tell me shit. So shame on her for that. Prior to, like, I already knew that I was ready to move out. Like, I already told y'all, the moment we moved in, like that first situation when she left her baby with us at the water park, I was I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a long 12 months. Mm, like, can we get out of this shit? Like, that was really crossing my mind because I just was like, yeah, ain't no way in hell I'm gonna be able to deal with this. But you know, girl, I, I, I kept pushing, I kept pushing. Cause now at this point we in what, uh, February, March of 2023. So I kept pushing and I, I got pregnant and I was still pushing, even though it honestly it got worse and worse and I started to feel worse and worse, especially me being pregnant, hormonal and all of that shit. Like, yeah, it, it was just horrible, but you know, we, we was getting through it, but we knew that the end goal was to get the fuck on out of that country ass town. But I didn't even like the city anyway, get along the people that I'm living with. So yeah, it was just bad on top of bad. If you've been catching up with my story times, you will know that a couple story times I had explained to y'all how he even had missed the bus and asked us if we could bring him to school and we already had it planned that because the schools weren't closed we lived in the country so these schools were not closed like at all and not to mention the small town traffic so yeah i wasn't bringing in nobody else kids school you missed that bus too bad so sad you're gonna have to stay home do your homework study catch up on some stuff and straighten up clean up or something do something you know productive because you're not about to just be sleep all day because you missed the bus like that's not gonna happen so that was our agreement steven ended up missing the bus within that first month or two of school steven asked us if we could bring him to school we was like hell nah katrina she gets off work early to drop an hour away to drop his boy off at school okay cool that's that's you if you're gonna do that that's you but remember what i told y'all in that story time i said i sure hope she keep that same energy whenever he missed that bus again because it will be another time and bitch it was another time girl 
this boy missed the bus one of these days so as you can see this is back in december this is another time he missed the bus i um, mean he was like hey you work today i'm like yeah why needed a ride to school i'm like i'm already working i work from 74 he's like dang okay thank you now we're moving on to march which is the present time that i'm talking about, well not the present time but the current time that i'm speaking about just missed the bus ma said i gotta clean my room and the bathroom I'm like, okay, cool. Do the laundry room too whenever you done. Okay, so now all of a sudden, Ma telling you she not gonna bring you to school and all of that, which, okay, that ain't really, ain't got nothing to do with me, but I'm just pointing that out to say like, I knew this was gonna happen again and I knew she wasn't gonna continue to leave work early to bring her teenage high schooler son who's capable enough to get himself up every single morning for school but for whatever reason he'll either oversleep and don't charge his phone so i'm telling my husband i'm like oh so now she want to put her foot down and you know finally agree or finally act on what we agreed to but okay sis like you go off okay also at this point i noticed like in the beginning katrina and i we would pretty much take turns replenishing household supplies like because we did a lot of paper plates paper cups um forks silverware all of that shit we did a lot of that because bitch like it was a lot of fucking kids and ain't no way we're gonna keep washing them dishes or having kids keep washing them dishes and they're just gonna get popped like it was just n not gonna work so we did a lot of disposable things and of course you also got your dishwashing liquid your cleaning supplies all of your other essentials for the household i noticed like bitch i'm the only person replenishing shit in this house she's completely stopped like buying essentials for the household completely stopped and then whenever she would buy stuff she would buy like toilet tissue because she would supply toilet tissue for, for the, the bathroom upstairs she would buy toilet tissue from fucking dollar general and you know like i'll show y'all like that cheap ass tissue like yeah be a dollar like yeah you think you you coming up on some shit but bitch you really not like that's really like one one roll like one good roll if you put all of those tissues together minus the texture the hard ass rough ass texture like that's really just truly one roll of some good ass cotton nail you know what i'm saying charming that tissue really didn't last but she would do like shit like that okay we ain't got this so i'm gonna go to the dollar store real quick because we had a lot of dollar generals like i told y'all we was in the middle of a country she would go to dollar general like she ain't had no business bitch that's all she she loved a dollar general which okay i get it it's right it's convenient but at the same time whenever you are in the house with a lot of people it ain't just you you know what I'm saying? You in the house with a lot of people. You need to buy things in bulk. At least that's what I would do. Like, I would go to Sam's. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to go back and forth to the store every day. Especially living in the fucking country, bitch. Where we barely even got shit any damn way. So, I gotta go a minimum of 25 minutes away just to really get to a good-ass store. That's not happening. But she... I can't say she didn't understand that because she did. And I say that because before we moved into this house, whenever we lived in the previous house, everything was good. Like we, I didn't have to worry about running out of things because I knew, okay, she bought this last. So now it's my turn, vice versa. She knew, oh, Angelique bought this last. So now it's my turn. But bitch, whenever we got into this place, everything just changed. Ain't no way she don't have money for these things because you always have weed. You always smoking. Oh wait, you know what? You know what? I can't count that because she wasn't buying the weed all the time. She was fucking the weed, man. So what that tell y'all? Like, come on, put two and two together. So that's probably why. Now that I'm talking about it and thinking out loud, that's why she always had weed. It probably wasn't because she was paying for the shit out of pocket. She was getting the shit free. But either way it goes, we all going in on rent. Why don't you have an extra? twenty dollars every other week to just replenish a couple of things and granted it probably was a little bit more than twenty dollars certain things but y'all get what i'm saying like we didn't need a lot of stuff all at once like we would run out of things gradually you know 
but she completely stopped and I found myself always replenishing stuff and I noticed anytime we ran out of dish soap anytime we ran out of paper towels anytime we ran out of anything who the kids come and tell me they don't tell nobody else they come and tell me why they come in and tell me because they know I'm regularly replenishing things and I didn't realize how much I was doing and how much she wasn't doing until I actually started realizing it, bitch. And I just was like, no, nah, this ain't cool. This ain't what's up. This this is not what a partnership should be. So I started telling my husband things about it or whatever. And he would say, oh, you know, tell her. You need to tell her this and that. And me, and maybe I should change this just in general. But I'm the type, I don't like to tell another grown motherfucker what to do. Especially if I know that grown motherfucker is capable of doing it. Especially if I know that grown motherfucker have done these things before. So why do I have to go from not having to tell you these things as far as what we need in the house and all of that? Why do I have to go from that to telling you? Like, we live in the same house. We got the same two eyes. I mean, our vision might be a little bit off because, you know, bitch, me, like like me, I'm blind as fuck. But, you know, the little contacts and the glasses do. So, at the end of the day, we seeing the same shit. Why aren't you holding up your end of the bargain? I got to the point where I started telling the kids, go take your mama. Because it would be mainly um, Steven, for an example, because he was the one mainly doing the dishes. So, if anybody going to notice it, he going to be the, the first one to notice when we run it low on dish soap. One of these days, I had stocked up on some dish soap. I had like two big jugs and that lasted us for maybe like three months. The type that you buy from Sam's or whatever, that lasted us for a while. And so, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, bet. By the time we run out of this, like, Katrina, she should for sure, for sure re-up on it on her own because I literally saved you three months because I did the right thing and I got a big thing of what we needed. So, girl, we finally run out. Steven tell me. I'm like, Steven, what you telling me for? Go tell your mama. Why y'all always come in and tell me stuff? I'm not the only adult in here. This is exactly what I told him. I'm like, I'm not the only adult in here. Go tell your mama. Your mama, she pay bills in this house just like I pay bills. Go tell your mama. Don't tell me. Because I, I always be putting stuff up in here. I said, I just put this up in here three months ago. It's not my turn. It's your mama's turn. So go tell your mama. It got to the point where days went by and I'm noticing that we still ain't got no dish soap. So I asked Steven. I'm like, Steven, did you tell your mama? He like, oh yeah, I told her. And now this particular day that I'm speaking about, they had just came back from the Dollar General. So I'm like, okay, if you just told your mama, why didn't y'all come back with dish soap? from the store he was like oh i forgot the reminder okay yeah maybe you can remind her cool whatever but at some point like your mama gonna have to kind of be an adult and figure the shit out on her own this particular night i'm like y'all been low on dish soap for a while and now it's to the point where he don't have none at all like, you know whenever you run low on stuff you can like mix it with water shake it up a little bit and kind of, you know, use it like that. And girl, it had nothing left at all. So I noticed Katrina, she left that night. And I'm like, oh, okay, she must be going to get some dish soap finally. Okay. Of course, y'all know me checking that location. Because I'm like, okay, it's taking this girl a little bit too long to get this. I mean, I thought that's what she was doing. Clearly, she might not be doing that. So let me go ahead on and check that location. Girl, why well, I check that location and she on a motherfucking freeway? And bitch, we didn't have no freeways in the small town that we were living in. So I knew she was going towards the city, which is somewhere in Houston or where we used to live, Katy. So I'm like, okay, bet. Let me go ahead on and check this, like mentally tell myself to check this location again in another 30 minutes or so. Because at that time, she should be where, wherever the fuck she going. Girl, why she at the Weedman house? I don't even know why I'm asking y'all why she at the Weedman house. Y'all know why she at the Weedman house. Why is she there? And I don't mean no going there, turn around, quick type of shit. She was there for a minute. She was there for a good minute. So I asked Steven, I'm playing stupid, right? Your mama going to get some dish soap or whatever? He don't know shit. He don't, he don't know anything. He don't know what's going on. He proceeds to tell me, yeah, I reminded my mama about the dish soap. I don't know if she's getting any or not, but she did tell me to just rinse the dishes off and she'll get some dish soap tomorrow. Rinse the dishes off. 
rinse dirty ass dishes off and leave them in the sink until tomorrow are you serious so you, you want this boy to rinse dirty dishes off not wash them with soap but rinse it off because you were too careless to remember that household shit is needed what girl i was speechless i was speechless because i'm just like it's the lazy shit for me you got enough time and sense enough to go ride some dick for a gram but you can't go simply get a 12 ounce thing of ajax bitch each and every day more and more this bitch just shows me like why I should have never, never continued to allow her to live with me. <laughs> like, after Darius left, honestly, she should have been right behind him because the fuck? You didn't come here with us. You came here with him. Granted, I mean, he loved how he loved, but that really ain't have shit to do with us. But you know, me, me feeling sorry for the girl, feeling sorry for her kids, and that didn't go down like that, obviously, because bitch, we're here. <laughs> Moving on to the next situation that I told y'all, Katrina and I, we would take turns cooking. I would cook on a Monday, she would cook that Tuesday, I cook that Wednesday. Like, we would literally take turns cooking, right? So, when I cook, bitch, you know, I cook, I make air, all the kids a plate. Now, I don't fix the adult plate, you know, and by this time, by the way, my husband and I, we stopped eating Katrina cooking. Like we barely ate her cooking to begin with, but at this point we really, really stopped eating her cooking because first of all, I didn't even fuck with her like that to even eat her cooking. The fuck, I don't even like you. Why the fuck would I like your food? I don't give a fuck if you cook like goddamn, who the fuck, who, who the damn chef, bitch? I don't know. I, I don't care if you are one of the top leading chefs in America. If I don't like you, I don't like your food. So I was not about to eat that food and my husband damn sure wasn't eating that shit. So a lot of the times whenever she would cook, we would eat out. But our kids would still eat what she cooked. You know, we would just buy our food and then the kids eat at home or whatever. Every now and then we would, because my, at this point my boys, they were young and you know, they feel like, oh, mom and daddy eating food. We want to eat whatever they eating. So every now and then, we would give them our food or give them some of our food and they would eat what we're eating instead of what she was cooking. But that was just every now and then. It wasn't, it was never on them type shit where we would always buy them their own food. It was always on some, okay, let, let us just give y'all some food because we know y'all niggas is begging, okay? <laughs> Whenever I cook dinner, I'm, I fix, like I said, I fix everybody a plate, all of the children a plate, what? It be how many bitch? It be a lot of plays. <laughs> so let me see. On whenever we got all my kids, including my step kids, that's what um, eight plates. Whenever her extra son is there, not her extra son. Whenever Katrina's other son that don't live with her is there, we fixing nine plates. Whenever the baby is there and the son, we fixing. 10 plates that's 10 kids bitch so it, it be a lot of kids but you know whatever i got used to it it is what it is but i'm just saying that to say i don't miss no plates if i have a child that's visiting my home i'm gonna ask that child are you hungry because i know how it is you know i don't want to see no kids eating in no other kid face like that's just rude as fuck you know and i don't i don't get down like that i don't play that shit so you know what I'm saying? I feed all of the kids. But bitch, for some motherfucking reason, whenever Katrina would cook, she would just fix plates for her kids and my oldest kids and not fix two extra plates for my youngest boys. And like the first time I'm just like, uh, maybe she thought that because we ordered in that we were just gonna share food with our boys. It seemed as though she was picking and choosing when she was gonna fix my kids' plates. I'm just put it like that. Some days she'll fix their food, some days she wouldn't. And so when I noticed that became a pattern or when I noticed that became something that she did quite frequent, it started to bother me. I didn't buy them any extra food. I'm under the impression that because it's your day to cook, you're gonna fix not only just my oldest food, but also my youngest because my youngest and my oldest, they're still my kids, so they still gotta eat. Like, it didn't make sense to me. So it got to the point where one of these particular days, I forgot what she cooked. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was some trash, but whatever it is, she cooked something. I can smell that she's cooking, but I don't know if the food is done. 
my boys coming in here in my room telling me they hungry and i'm just like don't worry like she cooking chill out i asked my daughter i'm just like katrina she she finished cooking y'all ate already she like yeah the fuck okay we're junior and baby g play that Oh, she didn't make them a plate. Do you want me to make them a plate? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go in the kitchen myself and fix it. Cause I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Girl, go in the motherfucking kitchen. Ain't no food left. Ain't no food left for, for my big my boys at all. None. Not not a piece. Not a nothing. It blew me because it's just like my kids are watching these other kids eat and they come to me telling me they hungry. Like they don't know, they don't understand what's going on. All I know is that they siblings eating and they not eating. The nice part of me wanna be like, oh, it wasn't on purpose or whatever. I realized that, yeah, maybe she knew what she was doing. And I say this because after I realized this, bitch, I went off. I went the fuck off on, not Katrina, but unfortunately her son, Steven, had to get the whiff of this. I said, Steven, I mainly asked him this because he was the, the one that was mainly eating the food and eating the food up from everybody to where they couldn't even get second. So I'm like, Steven, what's going on? I said, look, whenever it's time for y'all to eat and your mama cook, you need to make sure that baby G and June, you need to make sure all of everybody got plates. Make sure everybody got plates. I don't know what your mama got going on. I just need you to make sure that before you sit your ass down and get another plate, get a third plate, a fourth plate, make sure everybody, every kid in this house have been fed. Make sure that the next time it was time for Katrina to cook, all of a sudden my boys had plates. And it wasn't on no Steven doing, cause he was upstairs. It was her, so I knew, and I purposely told Steven this cause I knew he was gonna relate a message to his mama because I was pissed off. The fact that the very next time she cooked, she all of a sudden decided to start making a plates made me feel like, okay, yeah, bitch, you knew what she was doing. I don't know if you were doing what she was doing with ill intent or I don't know, bitch. I don't know. At this point, I don't put shit past you. The fact that it took me to go off and do all of that just for you to start making these kids plates was really concerning to me because like, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. As a matter of fact, play with me. You can play with me. Please play with me, but please don't play with my kids. Cause whenever it comes to my kids, then all bets are the fuck off, honestly. I really, I felt some type of way about that. And it, it, it got to the point where I was so upset one time. Again, y'all, I'm pregnant as fuck. <laughs> so it isn't, it's not making it no, no better. It got to the point where bitch, I was in tears. I was going off. I was, it was like the, those angry tears. Like, you know, when you so angry, all you could do is really cry, but you're not crying because you sad. You crying because you mad as fuck. And you know if you act on your anger, how you really, really want to act on it, like some shit gonna be fucked up, or you gonna be fucked up. So yeah, it was one of those. It was one of those cries, and um, I don't like feeling like that, bitch. Especially about a motherfucker that I live with. Bitch, that's dangerous. Time is ticking, and I, I knew in a couple of months our lease was gonna be up. And at this time, it was also tax season time as well, or approaching tax season time. And so I'm just like, look, I know usually whenever we get our taxes, you know, we'll get some things for the kids and, you know, invest in some good stuff or whatever. Y'all, y'all know, whatever. But this time when we, when them taxes hit, I ain't touching shit. Why? Because I want to be sure that this is the smoothest, the smoothest, unproblematic move ever. Because I'm trying to get the fuck out this house. I'm really trying to get the fuck out this house. It was to the point where I barely even wanted to tell Katrina. I'm just like, I don't even know when I'm gonna tell Katrina. We in March at this point. So, bitch, I'm just like, okay, our lease is up in June. You know, we already been knowing that we was gonna move the fuck out the previous year, like a month into the lease. We didn't mention anything about moving to Katrina, at least not yet. And honestly, I was so fed up with the bitch. I was just like, she lucky if I even warn her that I'm moving. She lucky if I tell her a week before. Like, I was on some, I'm gonna do you dirty as fuck type of shit. <laughs> but that I didn't end up doing that. I ended up telling her. And we're gonna get to that eventually. But yeah, it was to the point where I really considered not telling this bitch nothing and just being a whole ass roommate <laughs> because I didn't like her actions. I didn't like her ways. That bitch, I barely liked her kids. It is what it is. I love kids, but I barely liked her kids specifically because she 
made them lazy. She caused them to be lazy. Whenever Steve and he'll come home from school, get straight in the motherfucking bed, they got dishes all over the place. They be having all their clothes all over the floor. She don't make them clean their room. She don't make them do anything. Their fucking bathroom upstairs be fucking nasty as shit. And my husband's room is downstairs, so we wasn't upstairs to see every single thing unless it was like me going upstairs to wake the kids up for school or something like that we wasn't really upstairs that much but she was she didn't she didn't make them kids clean up she didn't make them kids do shit she would go in that motherfucking nasty ass bathroom did her nasty ass on the fucking toilet knowing that shit just nasty like she was just nasty she was nasty the kids was nasty and i can't really blame too much on the kids specifically because like you gotta train a child you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't expect them to know everything. Girl, and then one time, this girl had the nerve, had the nerve, the audacity to lock her keys in her motherfucking car at the house. She was at home when she locked the keys at the car. At least this time she was. She was in the driveway, and she texted my husband and asked him if he was able to help her open up her car. Like, my husband, he he's a car fanatic he did cars that's all, all i need to know is cars so she was like okay let me let me ask gabriel and mind y'all i don't think i've told y'all this before but my husband he would work on her car as well whenever shit would happen to her car because her car gave her quite a few issues that's why i told y'all a couple story times ago don't ever get no no damn car from drive time but she would have a lot of issues with her car so my husband she he would help her with her oil changes um bitch shit going on with the with the engine like any anything he would be the one like, all she would do was buy the part and then he would just fix it for her. he'll she'll give him the part and he just fix it that's why she asked my husband about getting her keys out the car because she knew that he already had prior experience with this shit. So my husband worked nights. And so he be asleep during the daytime because he know he got to get up for work that same evening. She texts him. I think he was actually asleep or doing something. I don't know. Whatever it was, he was busy. Um, and she texts him to ask him to fucking help her get her keys out the car. And so I don't think she had to work or anything like that at this time. So it wasn't really, um, it wasn't really a big deal or it wasn't a rush rather. So she asked him or whatever. And I'm just like, it was my husband, he told me. And I'm just rolling my eyes because I'm just like, you're so fucking irresponsible. And I said that because she had two keys. She, she, whenever she purchased that car, whenever she purchased that vehicle, I was with her. They provided this girl with two keys, two copies of her keys why did she lose the spare key first of all i thought spare keys were supposed to be hidden you know tucked underneath something you don't touch it how you lose your spare key but okay whatever so that irritated me because i'm just like my husband wouldn't have to do this if you just kept up with your shit like just be real um but girl i guess she thought he was gonna jump up and do it right away um <laughs> The fuck i think steven ended up asking my husband again about it like i just like as in katrina sent steven to ask my husband like you know are you still gonna open mama car or try to see if you can open it or whatever and i'm just like thinking to myself i i really hope she don't think he about to just get up because she say move like bitch don't play with me but he eventually got up whenever he was ready getting well and ready to do so and broken well not broke into her car but you know he did something bitch with the damn window with a stick girl we know how the shit this man be doing the cars but he did some shit and he got the motherfucking keys out of there but just shit like that makes me be making me think like bitch what these niggas at that you be fucking with none of these niggas have skills like what can they do for you because it seems like every single thing or every single time you need help or every single time you in a pickle you calling my husband and I wasn't like irritated as in like a jealousy type of way because come on now, you really think? My husband, he's, he's a nice person just like me. So he gonna look out for you and I want him to. Like if a lady is struggling with her motherfucking groceries, bitch, he better go help her. Like I ain't on no jealous type of shit. So don't ever get down. I'm just saying that to say it was never on that type of shit. It was simply just because she would have different men in and out the house all the time 
And I just be thinking like, bitch, where they at? Why they can't help you? Why they, where they at? What can they do? And the bitch was so nasty. One of these days, Lil Dante got pink eye, bitch. And he was at, well, first of all, I didn't know he had pink eye yet. I just realized he, he didn't go to school. I had woke the kids up, you know, time to get up for school. But you know, I woke not only just my kids up for school, but I woke Lil Dante up for school as well because Lil Dante went to school with my kids. And so he was like, oh, I'm not going to school today. I'm like, okay, cool, bitch. I ain't asking no motherfucking questions. You and my kid, I don't give a fuck. Um, but later on that day, I don't know who told me. I think I asked Lil Dante, actually. I asked him, I'm like, why are you at home? And he was like, oh, because I got pink eye. I'm just like, oh, okay, ew, okay. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever, pink eye, it is what it is. But bitch, what, what tripped me the fuck out is later that day, she took Lil Dante and the baby to the fucking park. And I'm just like, if he got pink eye, why are you taking him to the park so he can con contaminate everything? Like, ain't that nasty? Oh, you know, she don't give a fuck about spirit and shit, clearly. So, um, I don't even know why I even asked y'all that question. Duh, she don't give a fuck about contaminating, cross-contaminate, bitch. She don't give a good goddamn who she contaminate, clearly. So, I can't expect her to feel the same way about her kid. But me, if my child have a pink eye, I'm gonna take him to the doctor or I'm gonna go to the pharmacy and get some drops because i think they got over the counter shit for that as well so i'm like i asked little dante i'm like okay you you got medicine you taking anything because you shouldn't be touching like on everything because girl he didn't he in the kitchen making him breakfast and shit you know what i'm saying just just touching on everything you know and i know he didn't wash his hands because he little dante when well, he ate seven well no eight at the time nine so i know he don't know how to do things like that and I'm not expecting him to, but I expect more from his mama. Why? I don't know why I expected more from her at that time. Um, but I did. She don't have to tell me everything. But if my kid has something that's contagious, I'm going to let another adult know, like, look, so-and-so got this. Like, just just FYI. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just in case your kids try to play with my kids. Like, I just want to let you know what they got going on. She didn't do that. She didn't do that to me or for me at all. So my kids playing with Lil Dante. This is before I even found out that he had the shit. They playing with him. Well, just baby G because he was the only one at home at the time. Because I had one other child at, at home because he wasn't in school yet. So my son playing with him and shit and all of that. Like it ain't nothing. He playing, Lil Dante playing with the baby like it ain't nothing just spreading pink eye bitch girl piss me the fuck off and then to make things even worse like two days after my my husband ended up telling me that one of my sons got crust in his fucking eyes so i'm just like this bitch <sighs> but you know me i ain't no fool <laughs> Baby, I had some drops already. I had some prescribed drops actually that they didn't use all up. I'm I'm a medicine hoarder. You know what I'm saying? I keep a good little medicine bag. Well, bitch, I ain't got that medicine bag no more. I lost it. Rest in peace to that medicine bag. But back then I had medicine on deck. You know what I'm saying? For everything. And granted, I could have let uh Katrina use those drops, but why the fuck would I do that? Why would I offer that? And she not she not even making an effort on her end to make sure her kid is good because she could have easily went to the drugstore and gotten something or she could have you know she didn't even have to bring it to the doctor for no shit like that because i mean it's pink eye who the fuck brings kids to the doctor for pink eye anymore unless you just want some good ass medicine to make sure it works but other than that like it was other things that she could have did to prevent that but she didn't she didn't give a fuck she didn't tell me things like this and this is not gonna be the only time where somebody in the house was sick and i didn't find out about it until the last minute but we're gonna get there when we get there but y'all on that note this story time was a little bit like a mini mini stories like mini situations it wasn't like no huge situation because when i tell y'all throughout the entire time this lady lived with me i was well the second half because i didn't start taking notes until probably like november um, but yeah, I, I was taking notes of like just little things that pissed me off. That way I can remember it. And that was one of the things that pissed me off because bitch, how dare you give my child fucking pink eye? 
Uh, and well, and not to say she gave it to him, but it could have been prevented. Like it could have been, been prevented. If I would have known that ahead of time, I would have damn sure not told my, my child to go upstairs and play around with little Dante if I would have knew. Um, but at this time, it was fucking, it was, it was too late, bitch. It was too motherfucking late. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to go ahead on and wrap this story time up, y'all. Um, we got, what is it, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got three more story times left before we wrap this up, y'all. This is a 16 episode series, so, well, for now it's 16. <laughs> um, but yeah, on that note, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't do so in the beginning of the video because you don't want to miss the rest of these little episodes because I'm really honestly I'm tired of talking about this hoe and this hoe still somewhat affecting my life right now but we're gonna get to that although this story time series is 16 episodes i'm gonna just tell y'all it's gonna be an extended a bonus episode at the end of this because we got some other stuff some new stuff to get into also don't forget to hit that like button that way your girl could be out here in these youtube streets and turn on your post notifications so that you can be aware when the next time i post um, don't forget, email me y'all stories if y'all want me to retell them anonymously or if y'all need advice anonymously, whatever. Don't forget to email me at itsmissangelitv at gmail.com and follow me on all of my social medias. That way you can keep up and be in a loop and all of that shit, right? Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye.